true baptism is taking heed to the word. The word is only for Israel. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rara Cha Kodash. Double honor to my elders at Great Millstone, talking the truth through the Spirit. Single honor to the elect, peace and blessings to all the sincere men, women, and children the Duke of Sister, the one third, and to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth, Shalom. It's the oracle. Said South Carolina Church baptizes 141 new believers last Sunday. This articles from um <clears throat> the Christian Index and the Voice of Georgia Baptist since 1822. Let that sink in. 1822. So just imagine the state, the nation of Israel, the so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans was in during that time, and also concerning Christianity. All right. This photo was from this Sunday, December the 3rd, 2023. It says a new believer is baptized at First Baptist Simpsonville Upstate Church. Now, what I'm going to do is pretty much go into how baptism is not dipping someone in some tap water. All right. In the bucket, in the pail or whatever. Baptism goes back to this word. In, in cleansing yourself from the filth of the society. That's what it truly means. But what goes even deeper is that baptism is not for everyone. It's only for the nation of Israel. Right? But without further ado, I won't take too long. Let me get right to it. This is Matthew chapter 3, verse 1. In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea. Now, the reason why I brought this priest up out first is to go into that word Baptist. In the Strong's, which is G910 or G910, it says one who administers the right of baptism, the right to do it, right? Remember, Micah 3 and 9, we feel with the power of the Lord, the Ravachach, that's the Holy Spirit. We're not talking about this modern Christian, oh, I got the Spirit in you, hooping and hollering and dancing. No, because the Spirit of the Messiah, whom the world alien called Jesus, his true name is Yahweh Shai, the Spirit of him is prophecy. Revelation 19 and 10, whenever we go out there in the highways and byways, it's not one time we don't speak about prophecy because that's what it's all about, right? So understand baptism it says to deep, I'm sorry, not to deep, to dip repeatedly, to immerse, to submerge, a to cleanse by dipping or submerging, to wash, to make clean with water, water, right? So that's why the Lord said to be carnal minded is death because it's carnal it's carnality when you think about it's literally being dipped in some water. No, it's a parable. It's parabolic. The scripture has always been parabolic to an extent that you won't be able to understand unless you have the spirit of truth, which will decipher that for you. Right. So. Going into Psalms 119 is to give you a better understanding of what I meant by it's only for Israel. Psalms 119 and nine. Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? So how do you cleanse yourself from your sins? By taking heed to the word. It's much more than the physical acting of being dipped or immersed in water. You have to actually take heed. And that's what a lot of these modern day Christians don't do today. And when I say that, I'm not, that's rain. When I say that, I'm not talking about anyone who claims to be a Christian. I'm talking about the so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans that go to these harlot houses, known as churches. I got to call it how it is, right? 20-some plus years, and y'all still don't want to stand the words only for Israel, right? And also, not only taking heed, but also you got to be a doer of what you hear. That's, that, that's the fault that y'all have right there, Okay? Listen to this though. Ephesians 5 and 20. 6. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So everyone, ooh, 141 new believers were baptized. What's the true baptism? The true baptism is getting rid of that old man, being born again. 
Even Nicodemus was like, must I climb back into my mother's womb? See, that's another format of carnality. No. Because the spirit is like the wind. It comes and goes. You never know when it's going to come. And the thing about the spirit, you can't see it, but you can feel it like the wind that that grace, graces, grazes your, 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 your dampened skin when you're sweating in the middle of the summer. That's a very good feeling. When you you know it's hot, it's muggy, it's humid, all of a sudden this gust of wind comes out of nowhere. You be like, oh, thank you, Lord. Oof. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's the spirit. It's getting hot out here in these streets, man. The Lord singing that spirit to cool you off. But that's another story. I'm sorry. I'm talking to the elect right there. But yeah, let's go to um James 1 and um 21 through 22. It says... Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your soul, taking heed to the word. Not being dipped in some water. And that filthiness goes back to the nature you were before you was born. Not going back to that vomit. Right. Um, What's his name? Forgive me, Bruce Lee. Well, he says you have to empty your cup. In other words, everything that was taught to you before, forget it, but filter it through the scriptures. And you come to realize, oh my God, Christmas, that was pagan. Oh my God, Mother's Day, that goes back to that curse. What is it, Jeremiah 31 and 33, where the Lord said, I shall create a new thing in the earth, a woman shall surpass a man. When a woman was created to serve her man, right? You're like, oh man, now I see what feminism is. It's really a curse, right? Man, why is our sons in the street hating one another and killing the shoot? Oh, they go back to the curse. Where well, the Lord said, you should have an evil eye towards your brother, right? Dang, why I wouldn't want to abort our children and use them against us? Oh, the Lord said that the wife, of my, the wife, she shall have an evil eye towards the, the child that come from her bosom. Like, when you think about all this, like, man, now I see. Dang, now I see why I hated my brother for no reason. Now I see why he hated me. Now that I'm born again, I kind of realize, man, bro, I really don't even hate you, man. We on the curses. You get what I'm saying? So you become, you become born again. Then you start to say, he, oh, so we went into captivity. We went on them slave ships. We were um, treated inhumanely amongst all the nations because we did not want to be royalty. The word Israel is translated Yasha Allah in the Hebrew. It literally means, let me say, let me say figuratively. It figuratively means Prince of God. Yah, He, Shar, Prince, Allah, God. He, Prince, God. Loosely translated, He is a Prince of God. So that means we're gods on earth. Let it sink in. Why do you think the Lord, Yahweh Shahu, the word in the call Jesus says, have I not have it, have it not been said in your book where it says ye are gods? Yes, we're children of Israel. Remember Jacob wrestled with the angel, and he wouldn't let the angel go, and the angel gave him the name Israel. You're a son of God. And all you see it after. Let's get back to it. So anyway, <clears throat> James chapter 1, verse 22. But be ye doers of the word. Yeah. And not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. In other words, I say this: if you know better, do better. Yeah, how should I say? If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, feed my sheep. Not figuratively. All this is for real. What's keeping the commandments? Not eating pork. Not celebrating Christmas. Not openly committing adultery with a man's wife. Women, stop being the harlots, right? You can be saved from the, your old ways, but you got to repent and I go back to it. Stop smoking cigarettes. You're defiling your temple. Stop smoking weed. You're defiling your temple. Stop popping models. You're defiling your temple, right? Stop having all these women who are pregnant not taking care of your kids, man. Because the Lord even said, in the scripture says, he who a man will take care now of his kid or his household is no better than the infidel, and the infidel is someone that's unfaithful. 
right? So you understand what I mean when I say you hearing what we saying, but are you doing what we saying? Cause all that rhyme by and what's up, brothers? Shalom. I see I got the garments. You have it. Okay, whatever. That's cool. We ain't wound. We're not here for cheerleaders. This is not a game. This is prophecy. This is real life before your eyes. On a low level, when I speak as a man, because I'm just a man, when we're talking, it's really a how about Shimei Al-Shai trans, transmitting the message to you people. Are you not getting it? Like the scripture says in Amos. Shall I be Amos, the third chapter. Shall I be evil in the city? Let me, let me, let me, let me uh, pop the brakes reverse. Hmm. Shall the trumpet be blown and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Come on, man. Are you think all this evil is for throughout the